hello guys welcome back to my channel i remain your host agu joseph on today's video we shall be looking at how to choose the right fonts whenever you intend to work on any design project but before we dive into that i would like us to have a look at uh, the four main categories of fonts okay this includes the signature fonts the corporate fonts the tall fonts and the abstract fonts these are the four main categories of fonts some of you might be wondering uh, that you haven't seen these categories before because you are mostly conversant with uh, the serifs, the sans serifs, scripts and the display font basically. These are the four main common ones among creatives. But I had to actually narrow down these four fonts into these, okay? So the sans serifs and the serifs basically i categorize them under the corporate fonts okay why the scripts can be categorized under the signature fonts likewise the display can be categorized under the abstract fonts okay that is in terms of the four categories okay so moving on i would like to give you a preview of uh what are the differences in terms of uh the sans serif and the serif font face, to be precise. So here I have a good example of uh, of an image that entails sans serifs. Okay, here we have the sun on this end, while on this other end here we have the serif. We have the sans serif here and we have the serif over here. Now if you look closely, there is a difference between these two typefaces. Okay. You notice that on the sans here, we notice that it has a flat edge and a very smooth edge at the end of each of its characters. Unlike the serifs, okay, it has an extension or like an extension of an eye of a tears drop rather has an extension of a tears drop on this end here, and at this other end, it has an extension of like a stem. Okay, that is in terms of this two typefaces okay so moving on i'd like you to have a good understanding of uh, what industry actually uses this and the feeling that each of these typeface or this font actually gives okay i'll start by explaining with the use of uh of the sans serif over here over here it actually gives you that feel of modern clean and simple look okay and you can see give you that minimalistic simplicity feel clarity okay that is in terms of the feeling it actually give when you actually look at this font uh, in particular so over here are the industries that basically uses this type of fonts the technology industry fashion and lifestyle brands health and wellness actually uses the corporate organization basically use this okay this is common in in terms of corporate organization and here you can see various brands that actually use them okay you can see uh this is also uh the uh, the logo brand of google okay you can see it was done with the sans serif linkedin was also created with the sans serif and over here have the nike which is also created with the sans serif in terms of that so moving on we we'll also have to look at uh, the various examples under the sans serifs these are examples of fonts under the sans serif categories here we have the Heva vertical we have the futura roboto and among others okay so over here as well we have the serif font fields it's actually give you the feel of stroke at the end of of each of its letters at the end of any of its letters and here is the feeling it actually give you it give you the feel of trust authority uh formal classic tradition that is in terms of feeling and here are, are industries that basically use it luxurious fashion brand uh, university financial institutions among others and here are examples of uh brands that actually use them okay rolex basically use this in terms of that the new york uh, Times also use this likewise the louis vuitton 
basically use this type of fonts which are referred to as the serifs okay and here are examples of fonts under this font category okay we have the times new roma we have the basket view among others as well so moving on i would like us to look at the next which can be categorized under the signature font which is called the script here and it gives you that feel of elegance uh, decorative text in terms of the feeling looking at it okay and you can see here it is associated in terms of elegance sophistication artistic romantic plief we has those feeling those are like attributes you actually see whenever you look at any font that has uh, the signature or the script feel on it okay so moving on we have examples of brand that actually uses this we have uh, the Cabri is a brand. We have a Coca-Cola is also a brand that actually use this type of font in terms of creating their brand look. Okay, that is their brand identity. So here are examples of fonts that are actually categorized under the script. You can see the dancing script, the playlist script. We have uh, the Lobster. These are examples of fonts under the script and uh, signature category that is in terms of that so moving on we have the last uh, category which you are actually used to which can be referred to as the display you see is a descriptive typeface for eye-catching visual impact okay this basically gives the feeling of boldness impact creativity uniqueness that is in terms of what uh, attribute you actually feel whenever you actually look at any of a display kind of font okay and here are examples of industries that basically use them the tech and innovation youth oriented brand we look at food and beverages entertainment and media and here are examples of the font that belongs to that category you have impact we have playful display we have Montserrat we have lobster these are examples of fonts that actually belongs to this and here is an example of brands that actually adopt this type of fonts disney belongs to that category you have the lego also belongs to the display font as well so moving on i would like us to also have a look at uh, how do you go about choosing the right font for your design project well before you do pick any font for your design project there are some certain factors you as a creative have to actually look at which has to do with who are you actually creating the design for that is very important this part of who you are actually creating it for is very important now the who has to do with the target audience because you are not just creating a design you are creating it with a particular motive okay so you are creating it for a particular purpose who are you actually creating it for so are you creating it for uh, for adults are you creating it for teens are you creating it for kids okay so this is very important in terms of choosing a font for any design project so moving on i also like you to understand that when picking a font for kids kind of design okay it is expected of you to pick a font that kids can actually relate to by picking fonts that are playful in nature very bold to their eyes it is not advisable for you to be using a script font while creating something for kids okay you can apply the uh the scripts kind of font for adults uh, as well and mostly you can use it for corporate design be it for a particular business brand or whatever you can actually use the corporate font under this category because uh, adults basically uh, relate to to the corporate fonts and other kind of fonts as well okay likewise this team whenever you want to work for teen or you create any design for teen it's expected of you to look at the nature of your audience which is your team and know the kind of fonts to use when creating designs for them as well so this belongs to the playful categories and this belongs to the corporate category so you have to select fonts within the font categories that can help you to pass your message successfully so here also we have uh, another factor that has to do with what is the purpose of the design 
what is the message what is the what is the design all about okay what are you trying to do through the design like what message are you trying to pass what message are you trying to communicate okay so it will also help you to know how to go about picking the right font okay so if it's a, a message that has to that has to do with uh, people patronizing the brand in terms of services they render you should be looking at making use of a corporate font okay because they are the people who are actually creating it for and the main purpose of you creating the design is to convert sales is for uh, the brand to render those services and sell those goods to the general public that is in terms of that okay those are not, this is another factor and lastly here yeah, we have another factor I like us actually look, in, look at which has to do with uh, is the design for print of a screen we basically avoid this but i always advise we should ask your clients or your your whosoever that gave you a design project that what is, what nature is the design all about are they going to print it are they uh planning to use it on their social media handles like facebook and, and other web platforms okay so having a good understanding as well will help you to know the nature of your design and how to go about selection of fonts so if you intend to create a design for print it is expected of you to pick a font uh, that is actually legible in size uh, in terms of contrast rather that's very legible in terms of contrast so that whenever you scale it very small or whenever you make it very big it can be seen without straining the eyes for example you're trying to create a design for let me say for adults okay and you're using a modern typeface for your body text or for your content text it is not advisable to use a modern typeface for that situation because when you scale down uh, the size of the modern typeface like a font like in Louis Vuitton font you notice that uh, a part of the L is actually thin and the other part of the L is very bold so when you scale it down the whole body of the text cannot be seen so it is advisable for you to use a font that is actually legible in size when working on any design so that when it is being printed the information can be seen clearly without straining the eyes of your reader or your target audience okay so if you are creating for screen same factors have to actually be put into consideration okay so you have to look at that so before we dive into how do we go about uh combining the font how do we go about combining this font I would like you to have a good understanding that each of these fonts can be combined in two ways, okay? You can combine the signature font with the corporate fonts, okay? While working on any design project, okay? You can combine these two together or you can combine this and this together or you can also combine this and this together, okay? So you can work with any of these two. But if you intend to work with more than two fonts uh, in your design, it is expected of you that the third one must be a corporate font. Please take note that of that, please. That if you intend to work with more than two fonts in your design, it is expected of you that the third font to introduce must be a corporate font. Please take note of that. It is always advised that you should introduce a corporate font if you intend to make use of three font faces in your design. Okay. So likewise, I also like you to look at uh, the part of uh, the principle of design. I would like you to maintain consistency all throughout your design. For example, this is your Canva workspace on which you are designing on, and you have your headline. Maybe your headline has to cover this whole part okay it is expected of you that uh the the font you use for your headline in terms of uh font category should be different from your content text or your body text okay your headline or your title text should be very legible in size for you to see so it is expected of you to pick a font that is actually 
good in terms of contrast in terms of your headline or your title but when working on your body text or the content it is expected of you to maintain uh, uh to maintain a font style all through your design for example let me give you an illustration i created this using the gotham fonts to be precise and under the gotham font styles they are condensed version of the gotham and there are regular versions of the Gotham. Let me give you a preview. So over here, you can see here are the various condensed versions of the Gotham. You can see condensed uh, medium, this condensed that, condensed this. So moving down here, you also have uh, other ones that can be uh, categorized under the regular typeface, okay? Such as the book, the medium, the bold, the black, the ultra. These are the other uh, ones that can be categorized under the regular. Please, when creating a body text or when creating a design, if you intend to work with the regular category, it is expected of you to work with that category all through your content or the body parts of your design, all through to maintain consistency, all through. Not uh, you using bold here or using medium here and moving up later you are introducing uh, the condense into your design no it won't actually help in terms of uh, uh, making your design looking appealing to the eyes of your audience you have to maintain consistency all throughout your design but if you intend to uh, uh, work under the regular category here you can choose to create contrast in terms of information of your body text or your content text by by playing with some of the information by placing maybe the header part of the text of your content text to be on maybe uh, black under the regular and the other part of the information can be set on maybe book or uh, or light categories here okay so that is in terms of that this will actually help you to understand how to use a uh, font in any design project so ladies and gentlemen, I think we have come to the end of this video. Please and please, if you do find this helpful, do well to give the video a like, do well to smash the like button, guys. If you find this video helpful, you can also share with your graphic design friends around you. You can share this video with them. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave your questions and comments in the comment section. I will attend to them personally and if you are new to the channel and you are yet to subscribe please do well to smash the subscribe button guys smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content on my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys for always watching thank you very much for always watching and see you in the next